In our series, Dirty Dining, our Target 8 investigators are revealing some of the nasty conditions health inspectors find at some Kent County restaurants. Roaches, rats, mice, cooks not washing their hands, and potentially dangerous food. There's even a report of a rat tail curled up in a crab rangoon. As Target 8 investigator Ken Kolker found out, they are among a growing number of complaints filed with the agency that polices restaurants. Ken joins us again in studio. Yeah, Brian and Marley, we looked through 700 complaints filed over three years against restaurants and other places to eat in Kent County. Some of the complaints are sure to turn your stomach, even if you're not the squeamish type. It started with a quick visit by young cousins to a Grand Rapids restaurant. So we was hungry, so we walked down there. On the cousins said they bought three crab rangoons to split. That's when I said I want some crab rangoons. I used to love them things, but... He says they each ate one and planned to split the third. And the third one we opened up, it had the little town in there. Yeah? Yeah, that was nasty. Yeah? For real. So, Laurente McIntosh's aunt brought the crab rangoon to the Kent County Health Department the next day in June 2015. The tail was like about, about that long. About how long? About that long. Target 8 reviewed all of the nearly 700 complaints filed in the last three years against Kent County's restaurants and other places that serve food. During that time, complaints have grown 30% fueled perhaps in part by the highly publicized closing last year of XO Asian Cuisine. There is a real possibility in this area that there has been a heightened awareness to food safety due to a recent restaurant shutdown. We found meals that came with extras. Fingernails, a drywall screw, staple, a bulletin board push pin and a taco salad, band-aids on pizza and a burger and in a basket of fries. A cockroach on a burger, a cockroach floating in coffee, rat and mouse droppings in food. Then there's the March 2014 complaint after a deputy investigated an overnight alarm at Fujiyama on the East Beltline. He found about a dozen fish drawing on a rope strung up on the roof. A health inspector told the manager not to let it happen again. It does seem a little odd, but, you know, I, I can't, you know, guess or... Yeah. Say why somebody would hang fish up on the roof. In the case of the reported rat tail, Target 8 is not identifying the restaurant because health officials said they could not confirm how it got in the crab rangoon. Those are, are really hard when you get those complaints. A health department sanitarian described it as a crab rangoon that had something long and fuzzy in it. They took pictures of it and everything. And what did they say? Gross. It was fried inside of the... The cream stuff that be in the middle, it yeah. was right in there, inside of the cream. Days later, the county found filthy conditions and a few mouse droppings in the restaurant, but no mention of rats. It recommended the restaurant hire a pest control company. Two weeks later, inspectors found the restaurant clean. No signs of rodents. It was the restaurant's second rat-related complaint. The year before, a woman claimed she found rat droppings in her pork fried rice. This is the picture. Target 8 showed a photograph of the rat tail rangoon to the restaurant's owners, a married couple. Oh my God! That's the picture that the health department sent us of what they found. This, this really doesn't make sense. You can see it. You can see it. I'm making this on a big They say they make each Rangoon by hand with ingredients taken right from the cooler, then return them to another cooler before deep frying them. So are you going to show us how you make it? Yeah. Never, never can get anything without my eyes to see. They say it could not be an accident. It had to be intentional. So how would it get in there, you think? I don't know. This is not from mine. Since the rat tail complaint, conditions at the restaurant have improved. Records show inspectors found just two critical violations last year, the kinds that can make you sick, but none involving rodents. Still, one of the cousins who says he discovered the rat tail has sworn off his old favorite, crab rangoons. Yeah, I almost threw up. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? I never, I never bought one ever since.
Now, if you want to see how your favorite restaurant did, we have an interactive search on our website at woodtv.com showing every critical violation for the last three years. We also have a map with the top 10 violators in Kent County. Also, the health department is urging anyone who's gotten sick after eating at a restaurant or who's seen conditions that seem unsafe to give them a call. All right, great tips. Absolutely fascinating right. series. Everybody is really interested in what you're coming up with here. And it continues uh, the Dirty Dining franchise this week, Wednesday tomorrow right tomorrow we're going to take a, a look at the eight restaurants the county has shut down over the last three years Mo the most of all of them temporary ex except for exo ex asian cuisine but we're going to focus on one that's um kind of risen from the uh, roach infestation that, that it had so so they can make a comeback then yes we'll see that yes. one all right ken colker thank you